hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire back from boxing now man deontay wilder winning this arbitration case man <laughs> The judge or the arbitrator ruled that they have to fight. They must fight in September, man. This fight is going to happen. And it's going to have to happen in September. And, man, I mean, the British tears are running. They're running like Noah's Ark, man. I mean, flooding the world. I mean, they can't believe it. They thought this Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury fight happening. The media was lying to him all this time for a year straight, talking about how this fight was going to happen. First lie was that the contract expired, had that Deontay Wilder did not get his, uh, he didn't activate his rematch calls fast enough, right? And uh, Tyson Fury can move on, right? That was a big fat lie. <laughs> that did not happen. Deontay Wilder did uh, enact his contract to fight, Deont uh, to fight Tyson Fury. They just didn't give him the fight. Therefore, the arbitration right that being said you know the next excuse was oh well you know we're moving on we're gonna fight tight we're gonna fight anthony joshua and they even had tyson fury announce the fight before uh this arbitration case was out on out in the public he was saying how this fight was gonna happen with anthony joshua in august we all knew that was a lie <laughs> and now finally finally the arbitration came out and there's nothing but crickets crickets from everyone the old media i mean espn max kellerman was even talking about deontay water even getting step aside money um for deontay water to step aside so he could fight anthony joshua i mean the 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 amount of propaganda from the mainstream media trying to blackball deontay wilder out the fight with tyson fury is astonishing and you know i find it really really almost childlike how people mostly from the uk because most of tyson fury fans are from the uk believe that everything they hear in the media is true i mean everyone was caping for tyson fury you know i've seen it on boxing.com they're reporting this so quote unquote news as if it was real the uh, ESPN, Max Kellerman was reporting on ESPN. The Zone was reporting it. I mean, you got reporters even right now saying things like, "Well, maybe uh, Tyson Fury could fight Anthony Joshua in August, and then he can try to fight Deontay Wilder in September." Right? Blue Bump Sports made a really good video talking about how this one reporter said something stupid like, "Maybe he could fight Anthony Joshua in August, suffer a cut or injury, and try to get out the fight with Deontay Wilder." I mean, this, this is the lengths of these quote-unquote red, reputable reporters are doing, are going out their way to protect Tyson Fury. It's just shocking. It's disgusting. And these people are supposed to report the news at a, in an objective way, right? Even throwing that scenario out there shows the biasness. Shows the biasness, man. And this is why, you know, you got to get your news outside the mainstream media because they're not they're they obviously have an agenda and they're gonna go for whoever they push right people try to tell them man there's a lot of people talking about fake news this fake news that but we heard the narrative for a whole year we heard the fight was done a billion times with tyson fury and anthony joshua and look where it's got us a third fight with deontay wilder and tyson fury tyson fury has done nothing ever since ever since this whole idea second fight with Deontay Wilder they kept talking about how he's gonna fight this a opponent the B opponent and none of that never happened right now it's wild because you know when when uh, Tyson Fury was in negotiations to fight um, Ajay Caballero right Derek Chisora lost to him he's supposed to fight him in December when that fight didn't happen when, when they when, when Tyson Fury couldn't fight a bum and Ajay Caballero, and I, I say bu bum quote unquote, right? Because everyone's a bum in boxing these days. No one gets any respect. Because if Deontay Wilder, uh, a champion holding the belt for five years, is considered a bum to these fans, everyone's a bum, right? When he, when I knew he couldn't get that fight, I knew there's no way, there's no way he's gonna get around Deontay Wilder, right? There's no way he's not gonna be able to fight anyone. If he can't fight a bum, he can't fight no Tyson Fury. It won't happen. 
and that's exactly what happened so th that being said man we're gonna see this th uh, thing going forward man um D uh, tyson fury spent millions and millions of dollars trying to uh pay for lawyer fees trying to get out of this deontay wire situation and the only thing that happened is tyson fury wasted a lot of money and a lot of time and he's gonna have to fight deontay wilder and the problem is i said a long time ago deontay wilder the more time you give deontay wire the worse it is for tyson fury De uh, deontay wilder now has malik scott in his corner training him and deontay wilder has been posting videos he's been looking sharp you know i got tired of talking about the heavyweight division because it was basically the same thing about deontay wilder tyson fury and i knew i knew they were gonna fight again but these fans kept talking about fake news fake this fake that and it got exhausting it got exhausting but now we got official news man it's gonna happen in september and i'm extremely happy to hear that man we finally got some news because I, I, was, I was tired of hearing the narratives the agendas the propaganda and it's sick and they're still pushing it to this day it's sick man it's sick G give deontay wire his third fight it's not that big of a deal my god now this is going to be a big deal for Deontay Wilder. This is basically do or die for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Because whoever loses this fight will be delegitimized. De 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 Deontay Wilder, if he loses this fight, he'll be it'll be the narrative that with that he never, you know, Tyson Fury never cheated, yada yada yada. He was gonna lose anyway. No one wants to see a, a rematch. I told you so. That was always gonna happen. Now Deontay Wilder wins. It's gonna expose Tyson Fury for what he really is, is a cheater. Because we all seen the glove scandal. We all know when he fought uh, Vladimir Klitschko, he tested positive for PEDS. And, you know, Tyson Fury has never had a clean win at the highest levels. Every time he won these titles, it was always some some kind of controversy going on with the win. So Tyson Fury, in a lot of people's eyes, is not a legitimate champion, not just out, outside the Vladimir Klitschko fight, which had him winning three of the four titles but the Deontay fought Wilder fight as well because of, of glove gate and things in his gloves, right? I mean, he's even making jokes about it. Right before the Billy Joe Saunders fight, he was talking about giving Billy Joe Saunders uh, the uh, bronze or like some kind of knuckle thing to hit um, Canelo Alvarez with it. With It was like bronze knuckle, some kind of thing like that, right? He's even, he's even saying that he's going to make another dent in Deontay Wilder's head right and we all know that a glove can't do that so you know not only is tyson fury bold about what he did i mean he's just saying it now and people are looking the other way you know it's really disgusting and boxing that's nothing to play around with um it, it's just really weird how you got a boxer never known for power in tyson fury all of a sudden talking about stopping the most power that most the, the, the person with the highest knockout ratio in boxing history more than once he's gonna stop this guy twice in, in, I never seen anything like it, man. Never seen anything like it. When does a boxer decide to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a power puncher and come out on top twice fighting the other fighter's game? You know, we're going to see how this whole thing happens with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Is Tyson Fury going to fight his own game? Or is he going to try to go all wild and try to fight fire with fire and, and try to go in the gutter and, and, and get dirty and fight inside and try to stop Deontay Wilder a second time we're gonna see man but you know I personally think that Tyson Fury the first time he was in shape he came in at a extremely high weight and I think you can only do that so many times until the weight actually slows you down getting really big one training camp won't mean much but doing it for extended time especially since last night he fought was last year um it's been over a year now you know that weight is going to definitely wear you down your legs are going to actually start feeling that weight eventually and all the water needs is if he just needs time for De uh for tyson fury to slow down just a little bit all deontay Wilder really needs is one punch man so we're going to see how this whole thing unfolds man tyson fury he's basically already talking trash to deontay wilder now he basically knows he has to fight wilder because he can't step past him man he just can't step past him right so we're gonna see how this whole thing unfolds let me know how you guys feel about it, though like comment subscribe this is the empire geobasket empire peace